infrastructure. Full Stack Starship is coming soon. Unbelievable. Exciting developments are underway as SpaceX intensifies its efforts over at Starbase to perfect every aspect as they prepare for a reliable launch pad. Besides, the spacecraft stages are also tirelessly engaged in assembly and relocation tasks. Notably, the prototype Super Heavy 9 is preparing for its final testing before it can be fully stacked with Starship. And this proves that the possibility of Starship being launched for the second time at the end of August is completely possible. Stay tuned as we get into this and more in today's episode of Alpha Tech. SpaceX's Starbase stands as the epitome of a bustling and rapidly progressing construction site. The atmosphere is electric with excitement as preparations and testing for Booster 9, a crucial milestone in the Starship program, are now underway. After completing the necessary preparations, the massive Booster 9 is deemed ready for its next phase. In the wee morning hours of June 18th, the mammoth Booster 9 is carefully transported from the Mega Bay assembly site using purpose-built vehicles called SPM transporters. These vehicles are specifically designed to ensure the safe transportation of the booster to its designated destination. Once it exits the build site, Booster 9 embarks on its journey toward the Rocket Garden. Standing tall and proud, Booster 9 exhibits awe-inspiring size and remarkable engineering prowess, holding great promise for future orbital missions. Its presence in the Rocket Guard is expected to just be temporary as road closures on Highway 4 are scheduled for the night of June 19th. It's almost certain that Booster 9 will shine as the star of Starbase during this monumental event. The next phase for Booster 9 is anticipated to involve engine tests, including spin primes and static fires. These tests follow the successful cryogenic testing conducted at the end of the previous year, ensuring that the vehicle can withstand the necessary pressures and limitations associated with the use of liquid nitrogen. If Booster 9 performs as expected, it'll soon be paired with its companion, Starship 25, which has successfully undergone a static fire test and ignited all six engines. This dynamic duo will join forces as a full stack on a colossal launch pad ready to flawlessly execute SpaceX's mission. The rollout of Booster 9 not only represents a significant accomplishment in itself, but also stands as a testament to the unwavering dedication and collective efforts of the SpaceX team. Countless hours of meticulous planning, innovative design, and meticulous construction have led to this pivotal moment symbolizing the remarkable progress and ambition of the Starship program. Meanwhile, Booster 10, the sibling of Booster 9, is also making its presence known. After spending half a month lying at the Massey site, B-10 underwent its first successful cryogenic test on June 18th without any issues. It's truly amazing to witness this progress. During the cryogenic testing, engineers loaded extremely cold liquid nitrogen into the massive propellant tanks of Booster 10 simulating the conditions the rocket will encounter during the actual launch. The freezing temperature of approximately minus 196 centigrade or minus 320 Fahrenheit is used to increase the density of the propellants, allowing for greater fuel reserves in limited tank space and providing higher thrust during ascent. The test demonstrates the importance of cryogenic evaluation in assessing the structural integrity of the rocket under harsh conditions. As the propellant tanks are filled with liquid nitrogen, the rocket undergoes intense stress, mimicking the forces and pressures experienced during liftoff. The purpose of this test is to identify potential weaknesses in the rocket structure and ensure it can withstand the rigors of actual space travel. By subjecting the rocket to these extreme conditions, engineers are able to evaluate its performance and validate its ability to endure the challenges of space exploration. The 69-meter-tall rocket was tested at Massey's testing location, which is about 15 minutes down the road from the Starbase factory. Back in January, SpaceX founder Elon shared that SpaceX had acquired a gun range near Starbase to use the land. Massey's gun range is being turned into a rocket test facility. Perfect match, he shared. The successful cryogenic test showcases the remarkable progress and commitment at SpaceX. The rigorous testing of the powerful rocket engines demonstrates their relentless pursuit of pursuing boundaries and achieving new frontiers. With each rollout, SpaceX brings humanity one step closer to the realization of its space exploration aspirations. Previously, in order to facilitate stable testing with prototype boosters, 
SpaceX did a series of tests on the orbital launch mount, or OLM, using the Raptor Boost Quick Disconnects. Specifically, these tests were performed a total of seven times. These tests focused on the startup system for the outer 20 Raptor engines, which had been completely replaced following the Starship initial flight test. So one notable observation from the Raptor Quick Disconnect purges is the significant amount of energy required to spin the turbo pumps at the speeds necessary to initiate engine ignition. Another crucial test that's taken place is the full speed retraction test of the booster quick disconnect arm. This test involves retracting the arm that connects to the booster to the launch mount at high speed, simulating the rigorous conditions of launch and separation. By subjecting the arm to these demanding conditions, SpaceX is able to verify its strength, stability, and reliability. The successful completion of this test ensures that the booster can safely detach from the launch mount during liftoff setting the stage for smooth ascent and subsequent separation. These tests play a crucial role in verifying the functionality and reliability of the startup system, ensuring that the engines are prepared for ignition when they're needed. The meticulous attention to detail and thorough testing done by SpaceX demonstrate their commitment to achieving optimal performance and safety in their rocket engines. Besides, a pivotal location that can't be overlooked at this moment is the launch pad. Over the past few weeks, SpaceX engineers have been dedicatedly working on the relocation and installation of all the essential components of the water-cooled steel plate. Recently, the successful installation of all the plates signified a significant step towards the completion of the deluge system. Furthermore, SpaceX wasted no time on testing this new system. Thousands of gallons of water erupted from the orbital launch mount with tremendous force, creating an astonishing spectacle. Although this was just a partial test, more powerful tests are expected as SpaceX continues to refine the deluge system for future use. According to the FAA's Environmental Assessment Program, SpaceX's water deluge system has the capability to spray up to 350,000 gallons of water during the ignition and liftoff of the Starship. Unlike NASA's sound suppression water deluge system, which aims to mitigate excessive noise, SpaceX's system is designed to target areas that require cooling by absorbing thermal energy from the engine plume. The water pressure isn't intended to counteract the force. Rather, the steel plate itself bears the majority of the exhaust pressure, while the water serves to carry away the heat energy. At the openings, the water must maintain sufficient pressure to flow against the stagnation pressure of the rocket exhaust. This innovative approach highlights SpaceX's attention to the details and their commitment to developing effective systems. By utilizing water as a cooling agent, SpaceX maximizes the performance and safety of its rockets while mitigating potential risks associated with high temperatures during launch. These advancements bring us one step closer to witnessing the full potential of Starship and the incredible achievements that lie ahead in space exploration. To provide further evidence, Special attention has been given to the installation of the tanks. A new gigantic tank has been transported to the launch site. Its purpose has yet to be clearly defined, and only time will tell its true role. However, it bears a striking resemblance to high-pressure gas tanks. Hopefully, it'll soon be properly positioned and installed in its designated location, shedding some light on its intended function. In conclusion, SpaceX has set its sights on achieving the milestone of launching a fully integrated Starship into orbit this year. Engineers have been tirelessly working to construct a more robust launch pad while simultaneously producing and testing numerous stainless steel rocket ships in preparation for the second orbital flight. This is something that space enthusiasts have eagerly awaited for several years. The progress made by SpaceX in advancing the Starship program and pushing the boundaries of space exploration is a testament to their determination and pioneering spirit. With each step forward, they bring humanity closer to a new era of space travel and the realization of extraordinary possibilities beyond our planet. That's all for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know what you think in the comments section below. Your feedback is very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.